Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that given that the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x is equal to 4, for g of x is equal to negative 2, and h of x is equal to 0, what are the values of these limits as x approaches 2? So the best part of these limits is that you can directly plug in the values that these functions approach to get your limit. So right here in A, the limit as x approaches 2 of this whole thing is equal to the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x plus 5 times the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x. Right? You can separate out these things, and now we know that this is equal to 4 plus 5 times, we know this is equal to negative 2, so this is equal to 4 plus negative 10, which is equal to negative 6. In B, we have the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x cubed. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x altogether cubed. This is negative 2, so it's equal to negative 2 cubed, or negative 8. Let's make sure we delineate these. And in C, we have the limit as x approaches 2 of the square root of f of x is equal to the square root of the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x, which is the square root of 4, which is 2. In D, we have the limit as x approaches 2 of 3 times f of x over g of x, so this is equal to 3 times the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x over the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x. And now we can once again just plug this in. This is 3 times, we know this is equal to 4, over um, g of x as x approaches 2 is equal to negative 2. This is equal to 12 over negative 2 or negative 6. The limit as x approaches 2 of g of x over h of x is the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x over the limit as x approaches 2 of h of x. This is equal to negative 2. This is equal to 0. Negative 2 divided by 0 is undefined. And finally, we have the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x times h of x over x of x. Therefore, we can take these individual limits, the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x times the limit as x approaches 2 of h of x over the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x. And we now we just have to plug these values in, as we've been doing. So we have negative 2 times 0 over 4. This is 0 over 4, which is 0. So these limits are, in order, negative 6, negative 8, 2, negative 6, undefined, and zero.